This is Fast Forward, a full throttle look at the 2001 NASCAR Winston Cup season. waited all winter for this race teams have worked many many months for this moment to start the Daytona 500 as the premier event in Daytona Beach kicked off with new NASCAR rules and aero come on Mikey come you, on, got it, you, you got it man you, you got it you got it you got it you got it Mikey Michael Walter wins I just can't believe it. It, it. it hasn't sunk in yet. I know I would have never won without Dell Jr. So he, he has to get half the credit. And I know I never would have won without the belief that Dale Sr. had for me and Napa and all the people on my team. As Michael Waltrip celebrated his first Winston Cup victory, his car owner and friend never met him in victory lane. This is undoubtedly one of the toughest announcements that I've ever personally had to make. Uh, but after the accident and turn four at the end of the Daytona 500, uh, we've lost Dale Earnhardt. The shocking death of Dale Earnhardt stunned the nation, but the NASCAR Winston Cup community knew the race must go on. Three wide the line! Here we Perfect go. the leader! Five laps to go. This is ingredients for a five-part race. This is incredible. Look at them, they're all over the place, high, low, and in the middle. Harvick's got his work cut out for him now. And here comes Jeff Gordon. Gets a good run there in the middle of three and four. They'll be coming for the white flag right here. One lap to go. He had a photo finish here last race. We're getting ready for another one, folks. Get up off your seats. Just like a year ago, he's going to get him, though. Here he's going to get him. Gordon got loose. It's Harvick. Harvick loses. What a race. What a finish. Championship contender Jeff Gordon found himself in the eye of the storm on more than one occasion. Jeff, what about your conversation with Rusty? Well, you know, he body slammed me pretty bad there at the last corner. And, I mean, it was just racing, but I was a little mad at him, you know. Uh, thought it was a little uncalled for. There's no reason for him to just slam me all the way up in the other lane. Gordon turns around, Tony got Stewart. Feet, baby. Got him on his feet. And on pit road, Stewart expresses his displeasure with Jeff Gordon. That final lap excitement was matched on the first lap in the Winston. Pace cars in, fans are on their feet. Here we go for NASCAR's all-star race. The 17th annual running of the Winston gets the green flag. Oh, the car's sideways. All, all the cars are loose down in the corner. The track is wet. It's Gordon, Gordon, Michael Walsh, Kim Wayne. car. All these cars are wrecking because I believe it might be raining down there. Unbelievable. And the rain is Look, coming it's even raining. harder. Oh, for Pete's sake. What a way to start this event. They waved the green flag, the sky opened up, and now it, it's pretty well pouring here in Concord. So now we are going to start, not restart, but we are going to try to start this race for the second time tonight. And the four cars that were damaged in the not quite lap one accident will start to the rear. My old backup car is a lot better than anybody else's regular old car. Jeff Gordon trying to become the second three-time winner of the Winston. Jeff Gordon is again a champion of NASCAR's All-Star Night. By early June, the Cup boys crashed the party at Dover. Jeff Gordon had the field covered, leading 377 of the 400 laps. And Gordon's hot streak didn't stop there, as he led the field to the green the next week in Michigan. Great cars off. Therefore, I got it. Be careful, Rusty. They're going to be banging all over the place. Earl, pay attention. Be ready. Ready. Green is out. Green. Gordon dominated early and picked up five bonus points for leading the most laps. Rusty, late in the race, it came down to a duel between Gordon and Rudd, a foreshadowing of the players in the title fight. That might be his fault. All right, Vicky, come on, buddy. One lap to go. And they're side by side with the start finish line. Rudd with a car length advantage. Get up in front of him. You got to get in front of him. You can't let him come back on the outside. Oh, no. Rudd's coming back. Here he comes. He's going down to the bottom. Gordon to block. And Gordon to win. He holds off Ricky Rudd. Wow. The Michigan win was Gordon's second straight series victory. As the series moved to Pocono, Gordon again led the most laps. Oh, here uh, here comes, comes Jared. Four laps to go. The teammates banging together. 
And here comes Jeff Gordon. He's on the inside of Rudd. Rudd tries clear to close out. the clear door. Out. All clear. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Dale Jarrett's out in clear front. Five five on 24. Gordon to second. Rudd back to third. The boys who were first, second, and third in points finish first, second, and third in the race. With Gordon leading the most laps and finishing behind Jarrett, it meant they were once again tied. While Jarrett's momentum was crumbling, Jeff Gordon was cashing in. The last three straight years, the winner of this race has gone on to be the NASCAR Winston Cup Series champion. Jeff Gordon, the point leader, comes off the corner and becomes a three-time winner of the Brickyard 400 at Indianapolis. Here comes the road course king, Jeff Gordon, second win in a row, and he takes his seventh road course victory, winning here at Watkins Glen. And Gordon picked up one more inaugural victory. He won at Indianapolis in the first race there. He won at California the first race there. Here he comes to the checkered flag. Gordon wins in Kansas City. The Winston Noble Million Dollar Bonus was up for grabs for the final time in 2001. Earlier in the year, Jeff Gordon banked the money in Vegas and the crowning of the 2001 Winston Cup champion. That was all Gordon needed. He went on to finish sixth in the race and became the youngest four-time Winston Cup champion. I, I think it's only fitting that we honor I think one of the greatest champions NASCAR will ever have is Dale Earnhardt, uh, and uh, I think they agree. Two thousand and one will be remembered as a year of tragedy and triumph, the loss of NASCAR's greatest driver and champion, and the resurgence of another. This will never get old, right That's here, buddy. So buddy. That's this right. is all right. You gotta enjoy every moment of this, right? <laughs> and will Gordon continue to make history, or has 2000? We hope you've enjoyed this full throttle look at the 2001 NASCAR Winston Cup season. Be sure to look for us trackside in 2002.